most. Mr. Fantastic, what do you constitute as dating? Or excuse me, cheating. Is she texting a, is she texting another nigga? You out of there? Oh uh, no, what? Texting another nigga on some, you know, um, you know, the outside did keep them hoes sick, man. So yeah, we're in a relationship. Yeah, man. I, I can't I can't tolerate that, bro. If I find out yeah. about it, she better it's be a, a good cheater. Yeah, it's a wrap. Does she have a work husband? Hell no. Hmm. Can she have male friends? Male friends depending um how how old and how whatever. You know what I'm saying? And they probably gotta be handicapped. They can't they gotta be like so you know what I'm saying. So I ain't got no worries. So no, huh? Because if her male friend with you, a nigga like you. Oh, hell no. Nah. No, nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. I'm the only BABG in this equation. She got another six, five nigga just sticking around. Hell no. Nah. She, hey, she better be higher security. She better be mm. paying that nigga a check. Why are you so adamant is not signing that paperwork ever again? Um, again, man, um, personally, and that's one of the things I focus my content on, is just no benefit in me from that. Um, mm-hmm. a woman can, um, I, I told my story about this and me and my ex is cool now, but pretty much, um, I got in a situation cause I was in the military and, you know, I had up to 50% of my, my pension on the line, you yeah. know? So understanding the, the, um, impact of that is just no reason for it, bro. It's too many avenues and too many other ways to get, you know what I'm saying? To have that thing. And the cons yeah. outweigh the pros. Oh yeah. God, God don't respect no paperwork. No way. Indeed, indeed, indeed. AJ, um, you was on a little bit of a backpedal, but the ladies asking so many pussy questions that they they couldn't really you rope a dope the shit out of them. You no, know, I got it for them, man. Indeed. Um, you you your elbows, you a little bit too pinched with your chin open. Um, close your oh, hand. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. all right, like this, huh? There you okay, go. There you go. I if got them now. Use, if you're gonna use it, I got them um, now. Let's go. So them four or five holes, you said they don't know each other uh, about each oh, other, right? Five. No, 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 four or five. That's too many, my guy. It's two. only it's it's two, and one of them's on the brink of being gone. So it's work. Two. What? Yeah. What you do? I didn't do anything. It's her. I know, but what you do? He just told you he ain't do nothing. Ashley, hush. You had your chance. What oh, I do, like oh, well, what did AJ, I do? AJ, what you do? What I do with her? Or what I do when she did what she did? Why is she almost gone? Man, she's doing too much. She's uh, she's not respecting my boundaries, and she's uh, just getting kind of out of line. She's sitting outside front of your house, type shit. No, nah, she popped up one time though. Oh yeah, and now how long ago was that? Why you didn't get rid of her then? Oh, she's on probation right now. Yeah, I haven't talked to her in a while. Okay, probation with you or the law? With me. Okay, so you already curved her, but you let like, you telling me that you curved her after she popped up, right? Yeah, after she popped up, y'all. Tell me the truth. Now I gave you that answer. Did you mean it? Yeah, for real. For real, for real. Okay. Now, did before she popped up and started showing these red flags, did you want them both? Did I want them both? Yeah. You let me ask you a question to clarify. Did you kiss both of them on the lips? Yes. Oh, you wanted them both. So now, now that we know you wanted them both, um, what were you gonna do? You gonna just keep playing both sides, or you think you're gonna introduce them? You gonna be honest? Like, how are you gonna achieve that I mean, goal that we want, but we can't? We think we I, can't. I don't have. know. What, I don't know what I mean by being honest. I mean, like, if they know I'm, about each other, they can make a decision. They know that I'm dating. They don't have to know about each other, but they know that I'm out here dating. Now, AJ, I gotta ask you: Do you be kissing everybody? No. No. Okay. So now these that we very, know these, that these, these women are, are, like I said, they're I. I I pick my women pretty pretty well. I, so. I know you do. So there we go. You know what I mean? We just took two shots back to back in the club, remember? So I we, know, I yeah. know. So now you got that, right? You kissing them yeah. both on the lips. You want them both, right? But we keep playing sides. We know we get sloppy. We know we get comfortable. We know that they get um curious, right? Women think they have intuition. They do, but not to the extent they think they do. They keep checking. So, yeah. motherfucker, if you keep checking, you're going to find some shit. You ain't no fucking superhero. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So, so you know that's going to come to a head, but you want them both. So, have you? did you think, like, hey, maybe I have the conversation? Uh, at one time, yeah. 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 It, it, comes, it comes up. Mm-hmm. But what you think? What, 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 what stopped you from having that conversation? Uh, I, I think this opportunity. 
opportunity to really have that conversation most of the time when we're going out they don't really want to know anything they just want to have a good time they want to release the stress uh, they've been having a hard maybe month or a couple of weeks so really they just want to go out and just talk about you know just release the stress it's really not about no no keep it a buck with me did any of one of them ask you so what are we yeah every every so often yeah they ask us they both ask that. yeah so we know that i know that you know that we know that they wasn't just cool with dating so did you duck that yeah. conversation keep it real no you just was just gonna play the field until the cows come home well actually i'm telling you actually one um one of them when we had that mm -hmm. conversation yeah uh she quit she said you know i can't do this and she left you so you did have the conversation yeah, we I know we had a conversation AJ, about AJ, where are slow we? down, slow down, AJ. I often have to do this to love on the midday show. Slow no. down, slow down. Why am I catching strays? Slow it's down. Because sometimes the thoughts they, they start to go like this. I'm gonna come back to you, AJ. Joel. I don't give a fuck what battery they was putting in your back in the chat. 10 years is a long fucking time to do anything. So when love was trying to actually ask the question. How do you get that a man is not supposed to be alone feeling, right? That all people often get from the Bible. There is something missing. There's got to be a longing somewhere. So how do you satisfy that? What Sis was alluding to was chaotic was saying niggas just jerk off and go about their business, right? But 10 years of jerking off ain't going to cut it. So how do you actually soothe it? Or are you saying, like, what are you saying? Where are you at with that? I'm nowhere with it. I mean, I don't, there's not anything I worry myself about anymore. Yeah, when did you stop worrying yourself about it? Over the past about two or three years. Once again, like the longer the longer I went, you know, even because it, it always it always felt like just when I was getting myself to a point where mm -hmm. I was like, hey, you know, maybe I can get this a try. Then like something would happen is like, well, you know what? Let me go back to the drawing board. Let me go work on myself some more. So that's what I'm well, doing now. Can you give me a superficial example, meaning something that's not too deep about something that happened that deterred you from pursuing relationships with women? Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes it was some, it, it, it'd be some, some as simple as a rejection. That's it. Yep. Damn. And now is it a plethora of rejections or just one rejection? You said, man, fuck these hoes. No, nah, it, it ain't been a whole lot. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, but you know, every, every one, every one, I'm always analyzing myself. Maybe I said yeah. the wrong thing. Maybe I, maybe she was the wrong woman. Maybe it wasn't the right time. Cause mm -hmm. you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the type of guy that's going, you know, that gets rejected and blames on the women. It's always gonna, I'm, I'm always gonna look at myself and see and see what I could do better. Okay. So, so you think it's more you than them? Me. Oh yeah, it's always more me. Yeah. yeah. And what you you taking corrective measures to change that? I'm working on it. Yeah. What does working on it mean? Uh, get a better job, make more money, uh, get you know maybe I need to lose weight, get in the gym. That's been, well, that's been said that's been said on these panels before. You're right. Except for you just told us that you just found the job that you made the most money ever in life. So I know that's not it. That sounds more like an excuse. When I hear people say they working on it, you ever seen Bronx tell when a nigga owed him money for the whole movie? He was running the whole movie. When yeah. I hear people say they working on it, that's what I could see. That nigga owe him twenty dollars and keep on running around the block until finally he just said, "Fuck it, nigga." So when you say working on it, what does that actually mean to you? So for me right now, the best I can, best I'm doing right now is just trying to improve my lot in life, like trying to improve myself. Because once okay. again, it ain't because it ain't, it ain't it, it, there's there's really nothing you're going to do to like mm -hmm. guarantee that somebody's ever going to be interested in you. Yeah. At the end of, at the end, at the mm -hmm. end of the day, the answer is either yes or is no. There's nothing you're going to do to change a no into a yes. Really? So, so, so all I so all I'm going to do is continue to work is, is continue to do me. Really? So you don't think you can change a no into a yes? You don't think that's the thing? No. Really? That's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. What? Why? What happened when you said you can't change anybody's mind? I ain't seen it happen yet, so therefore I can't believe it. Do you think women are that superficial? Honestly, I can't. I can't. I don't know. What you think? What, speculate. Speculate. If I had to speculate, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say it's, it's not that they're superficial. It's just I, I. I'm like I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't spin back to the same person after they tell me no. Like if somebody tells me no, then hey, I'm gonna move on to the next person. Damn. Yeah. Like, so I, I, you know, you know, after you know, the first know. shot, so hold on. So it's one shot only with you, not even a, not even a second, ever. No. Yeah. Damn. 
But like you're not, you know, you, I'm not gonna give you, I'm not gonna give you this two, two. I'm not gonna let you reject me twice. Like once you yeah, say okay. no, I don't have, I don't have a reason to come back to you. Okay, so yeah, it is you then. Yeah, you definitely got to spin. Why? What the fuck? If she already said no, okay, no, it ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> After a while, that shit don't even smell like nothing. If the same woman keeps yeah, saying bro, no, bro, bro, fuck bro, it. Bro. Damn, See, Uncle now, Rick. Now, 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 Hold on, Joe. We gonna we gonna open up the panel. I'm just now, I'm just going to go around. I got a question. There. So okay. how? So how how are we how are we having? So we live in a world now to where if you're trying to get at a woman and over and over again and she keeps saying no. Does that not constitute harassment? We ain't we ain't saying no. fucking a hundred times, right? But my wife tried to curb me initially. All right. Now she just had four kids over the span of 15 months. Don't fucking play with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, 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 that worked that works for you, but guess that, but that's what it's because her no wasn't really your no. Uncle Rick, barefoot and pregnant. You heard? Keep them useful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh that shit sounded crazy. That's that right, Mr. Fantastic. That many kids in for... <laughs> Damn. This, boy, this, this man trying to be big boy. Man, this man work, trying to work, my boy. That's putting the work, man. No so, game. Yeah, we got two sets of twins, so I cheated a little bit. Uncle Rick. Yes, sir. When you are articulating, the ladies were smiling when you're talking about your wife. Um, men would frown upon what it sound like pedestalizing your wife. But after 26 years, when she got what we would deem pedestalized, which would be almost demonized nowadays, how did you get to that point? Was that from year one or did it take 26 years to, to, for her to get to that level? No, nah, like uh, it, it took some time. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't understand what I had in front of me, if I'm going to be honest about it. Did it take you to fuck up to see it? Of course. Do you think that's how most men learn? I think most men learn is one, one day you realize that your woman at one time is better than you. Mm. as a person yeah okay 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 so do you think it behooves women to stick by that man that's fucking up a little bit but she can see the potential but you know potential as a coach will get you fired no 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 doubt but again this ain't no fucking job this is your life we talking about mm -hmm. right so again this is the whole problem right our women are i ain't gonna say our women it's it's the western world it's the modern society right Mm. Our women believe that they're equal to us. At one time, you guys were the fairer sex. At one time, at one at one time, women, you guys were the inspiration to men. Now y'all just niggas. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Let me read these super chats real quick. LaShawn with the fifty dollars super sticker. Don't broke, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Appreciate you. Bob was popping. Shit like that. Shit like that. Hope all is well. Eric Barber with the two dollars. Thank you, Bob. Eric Barber with the two dollars says, "Shouts out to Mister Fantastic and Brother Rick." Real shit. Bob with the five dollars says, "Hemp is a devious mechanic. He shows you how to repair your mind, but in reality, he is dismantling your argument." No, 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 no. <laughs> Bob, I'm asking, man. I want to understand, man. And based on the responses, I have an additional question. Mike Brown with the five dollars says, "Too much time out the dating market is detrimental as well." Yeah, 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 yeah. The dating pool rose with the two dollars says, "His woman and relational skills are off kilter." Who was that? That was at eleven thirty-four. Right just now, uh, maybe Uncle Rick. Jonathan McGill. John was popping with the five dollars says, "Joel, so you, so you like using your hand? Come on, bro, become your best self, bro." Stepping Wolf with the two dollars says, Joe, you have to be a machine gunner. Here comes all your advice. Black America with the five dollars says, When you keep getting shot down on a on a long stretch, time to stay to yourself and work on yourself. Joe shit gets better after 45. Trust that. 45. Fuck that shit. <laughs> damn. God damn. 45? What the fuck happens at 45, love? How, how is Joel? I mean, how old is he? <laughs> Damn. I'm, 30, I'm 39. 39. Oh, yeah, look, bro. I, I, well, no. hold on. Hold on. First off, brother, you're not, you're not, a, you're not a part of the Jurgens Luberdern clan, are you? Damn. No. Okay, they so they just talking shit. I'm, I'm making sure, brother. Don't ever admit that publicly, man. Yeah, everybody. Like, yeah, you know. like this. This. So I've, 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 we've had this conversation on the panel before. This is the part. Of, this is part of the show where all the bad advice comes in. 
because everybody gives you advice based upon what they would do if they were in your situation, but they can't relate because they don't understand. Well, and, I don't, I don't and they know. don't know the whole story neither. They only know part of but the still, story. Well, this is what I'm saying. I think that, uh, uh, listen, brothers coming from a good place. You know, we joking, whatever, man. I, I mean, at the end of the day, brothers understand that, though. You know, because we all been through some level of, you know, dry streak or whatever. But just like, you know, not not trying or not or, or losing the will to be in the game, man. Hey, hey, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Joe, see, you're right. Bad advice comes, but I know what. Lifting weights helps everybody. I don't give a fuck. When you look in that mirror and you got some muscles and when she touched you, say, oh, your arms is right. That shit help everybody fucking uh, mojo. I don't care what nobody say. So that's one piece of advice I, you go, need to go ahead and pick up. All right. We, don't just don't we, throw away all the goddamn advice. That's, that's four. Four times we said that now. I'm already in the gym. Thank you. You pumping iron, though? Hitting everything. Cardio, weights, all that. Because cardio is important, too. Uh, uh, Yeah, but, you know, women don't mind a little um dad's stomach, you feel me? But when they you know, know you can pick them up and put them down, that's what that iron do. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't, it don't matter how much you can lift if you, if you, win, it at, if, if you win it after 15 seconds, walking up the steps. Let me tell you something, Joe. I'm, I'm, I'm not you. saying you have. I'm just saying in general. Brother, let me tell you something. Cardio you might be right, but if you can make <laughs> it to that first 30 seconds, God bless you. God damn it. <laughs> God damn, man. Mm, mm, mm. Now, love. 